Welcome back to all my subscribers. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for their comments on my previous video. As you can see, the reaction wasn't what I thought it would be. The majority thought the animal I caught on the thermal camera was a fox. Now I agree that a thylacine or a thylacleo should really stand out and be easily recognisable. So in this video, I would like to show you some of the science behind my original video and also some new investigation into the animal. Again, I would state that this is not in any way close to the holy grail of photographs. It's a zoomed in image. I haven't just doubled down on my original view, but have reanalyzed and reviewed all the evidence that I could obtain. I hope you enjoy just another step along my journey. As we know, Australia has millions of red foxes, so it's always important to eliminate them first. Red foxes have very distinguishable back legs, made up of three main parts, the femur, tibia and metatarsus. Now the lengths of these bones aren't really important, however the proportions of these three lengths compared with the overall length are. The red fox has on average a femur of 35%, a tibia of 35% and a metatarsus of around 29%. These proportions within the red fox just don't change wildly. So let us compare these fox leg proportions to that of a thylacine, which only a few people did suggest on the original video. There's a lot of detailed studies of the anatomy of the Tassie tiger. As you can see, Harris and Muller compiled detailed body proportions expressed in percentage. As I already know the proportions of the red fox's hind legs, it was a good start to measure the proportions of the thermal animal's hind legs too and compare them both. As you can see, the proportional ratios between the red fox and the thylacine should be easily distinguishable. And these were the results. The femur was around about 40% of its hind leg, its tibia 45, and its metatarsus 15. These proportions can be easily measured even from your screen. As you have seen, they match very closely with Harris and Muller's proportions of an adult Tasmanian tiger. Since last week, I have rechecked these numbers and they are all correct. However, I decided to overlap some images of red foxes with the thermal image to show you the visual comparison. As you can see, the difference is stark. Since last week, to check my initial thoughts that this animal was not indeed a fox, I decided to compare some more of the body proportions provided by Harris and Muller. The only real difference is the length of the thermal animal's neck. But is this because I've drawn the front leg in the wrong place? Please let me know in the comments. I also didn't get proportions for the front leg as I couldn't really work out where they ended. So along with the main body proportions and the proportions of the hind leg, the animal caught on the mainland on my thermal camera has very similar body proportions, but not perfect to the Tasmanian tiger. If you have any questions or think that my methods need tweaking or improved, please leave your suggestions in the comments. As a scientist, I want to hear your views and questions. I'm not always right, but will always reanalyze my work, which I feel I have done for you here. Thanks for watching.